Rise up, my siblings. It's time for us once again to fight for our future and take back the power from the greedy hands of capitalism and fight to protect our future. Now that we are in power, we will guide this country to a future where we have clean air, high paying jobs, and above all else, a healthy and prosperous life. Welcome back to another video here on Mummified Games. I'm Tony, and today we're going to be talking about the political strategy simulator, Democratic Socialism Simulator by Mole Industria. Hey, that wasn't half bad. I actually got pretty good on that one. In this game, you are a newly elected president who is going to be presented with a series of decisions to make, and it is your job to either be for or against the proposed policy. When a new card shows up, you will swipe it to either two different answers. Typically, the left will be a no, while the right will be a yes in a roundabout way. These policies will be taking a lot from the current political climate, and I have a strong feeling we're gonna be still dealing with these problems for a lot longer. Your choices will affect a few different things. The budget, growing the amount of money the government has and being able to spend on projects, the power the people have, workers' rights and their ability to seize the means of production, greenhouse gases and the climate crisis, passing green energy and renewable sources will help with these sort of things. And obviously passing or shutting down ideas will affect the voting public as well, being able to see how your choices will affect the opinion of the people in the next voting cycle. And that's one of the main things that you might have to worry about while being the president. Passing important things that matter and also making sure you don't alienate all the people voting for you. My first playthrough, I didn't even make it to see if I was re-elected. They threw me out just after the midterms. The next two playthroughs, one on the plane and the one you're seeing now, were both successful presidencies, where the budget was booming, the people had all the power, and the climate crisis was on track to be taken care of. The one thing I wish there was more of in this game was public transportation questions, but there were already a lot of other questions and policy changes that were very cathartic to make happen. Things that I wish were able to be changed in the real world and not just in a video game. If only it was as easy as just playing a game. This is another game that has a great soundtrack. The chiptune and vocaloid sections were pretty great. As I said in my last review, this was one of the two games I took on a three and a half hour flight. A game that, again, I wish I knew before my flight had an average playthrough tutorial and all of just about a half an hour. That's just not enough to hold me over on a flight. No fault to the developer, I was just not paying attention and it was the wrong tool for the wrong job. Wish I knew that ahead of time. Friends, I just looked at the store page while writing this review and I saw that it was only $3 USD. Go get this game! You can live out your fantasy of being a socialist leader of a country and save your people. And then after that, play the exact opposite of what makes you feel good. You know, just for kicks. See how far you can really mess up the people in this game. One of my friends does that all the time. He's a flag waving Demsoc and often play his games once as an idealized version of the world we live in and then a few times just being an absolute authoritative dingus. For sure, you should all give this game a whirl. It's on Windows, Linux, and Android, so you can take it with you. What do you all think of this game? Are there any other political simulator games out there that you like? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, hey, hey, hey my bed looks like a community supported project if you know what I mean. Solidarity isn't the only thing that can last forever. Hey, if you catch my drift. If anybody wants to come over and seize the means of, uh, no, wait, that doesn't work. Uh, lead a revolution under my sheeps. I, I don't know. I, I thought I had a third joke here, but I lost it. You all do the YouTube dance, like sub bell, comment with your thoughts and tell someone, you know, about these videos. And as always friends, keep digging. We'll make it out sometime. See you in the next one. <laughs> Now that we have the power, we will guide this country to a future where we can have clean hair. Yes, clean hair. Let's all have clean hair. It was the it was the working powers that be before that made. All right.